I'm Dr. Josh Daly, Lead Remote Doctor with Access Eye Care Services. I started my career with the National Vision OD Network a little over three years ago. My journey as an optometrist uh, has been first just working as an optometrist, then as an ambassador, uh, next as an area doctor, and now as a full-time remote optometrist. I made the decision to move from traditional optometry to remote care uh, for a couple of reasons. The first of all being that I was able to reach uh, patients who have limited access to healthcare services. And I was able to be a part of uh, an advance in technology in promoting optometry and healthcare and eye care to, to people throughout the country. I live in Pocatello, Idaho, so I'm able to see patients in any state that I'm licensed in. So I can see patients in Idaho, I can see patients in Utah, in Iowa, in Louisiana and Georgia, all in the same day because those are states where I'm licensed to provide care. And again, that, that gives me greater opportunity and greater flexibility to see the patients where there is a greater need for patients to be seen. My employer uh, provides services to other independent practices who are in need of doctors. And so we can connect with those independent practices and fulfill the unmet need of, of the patient demand that is in those locations. Remote care is not meant to replace an on-site doctor. Ideally, you have an on-site doctor for everybody, but that just, the, the demand is too high for, for that need. And so remote care gives us an opportunity to reach people who just don't have access to an on-site doctor. The remote exam is meant to mimic an on-site exam as much as possible. So the patients are still being seen on-site. They go through the normal process they would with any tech. They do an AR reading, their pressures are read on their eyes, they have a visual field test done, retinal photos are taken, and then once they get to that point, uh, the, the doctor will receive a notification that the patient is ready for the exam. The doctor can then call in um, and is able to observe the patient uh, as a tech is there in office doing confrontational fields, checking the pupils, checking the extraocular muscles, doing cover tests. Um, and the tech also does a, a, a video, a slit lamp video of the, the anterior surface of the eye, which the doctor can review and, and evaluate. The tech will then put the phoropter in front of the patient and the doctor will perform the refraction themselves as though they were in the room. A normal patient encounter is very similar to what it would be like on site. So usually my exams are, are around 15 minutes, sometimes longer for a patient who has more needs or more questions. The, the patient isn't getting a shortened experience because of the, the remote exam. Remote care isn't for every patient. There are lots of patients who have advanced medical conditions or, or ulcerations on the front of the eye. Um, or advanced diabetic retinopathy, uh, where the, the remote exam doesn't let us, uh, let us assess those things fully. And so we have to make decisions on uh, which patients we can see remotely and which need to be seen by an on-site doctor. The goal is to keep the patient's health and needs as our top priority. We want to make sure that the patients get the treatment that they need. And if our remote exam cannot do that, we need to find a, a place where they can be seen by a doctor that can offer them the level of care that they need. The remote exam from one office to the other is the same and the, the level of quality from one exam to the next is the same and that's one of the things I love about it that we I can expect the same process the same type of exam from one office in one state compared to another office in another state across the country uh, and I also love that this gives me an opportunity to work with a more diverse group of people different techs uh, across different offices, different people from with different backgrounds. Um, and it, it helps me build a, a greater connection and, and a more extended community with the, the patients that I see. I remember being a little bit on the fence about the 
the whole remote care thing at first, just because there are so many different factors that go into it. It's, and it's a big change. It's a big adjustment from what you're learning in school. The first time I did a remote exam, uh, I thought it was a fairly easy and um, uncomplicated process. You're set up with a, a home laptop. You have multiple screens, monitors um, that are provided to you, uh, and you can see you know, the patient's retinal photos, the patient's visual field. You can see the patient's um, history uh, and uh, the, the video here, so you can kind of see everything all at once and it gives you a great opportunity to give the patient great feedback to see all their information to see their history um, and see the patient at the same time and, and just communicate everything that you want to easily quickly and, and efficiently One of my favorite parts about uh, remote care is that you can still have a great relationship with the patients. You can have a conversation with them. You see them, they see you. Um, they can ask you questions, you can ask them questions. Uh, I was afraid when I first started that I would lose some of the relationship in, in that connection that I have had with patients in the past, but I don't feel like I've lost that at all. I've had several patients tell me that it was the most thorough exam that they've ever had. And they get excited about the technology. They get excited about you know, seeing their pictures up on the screen, um, about the automated phoropters and, and getting their refraction done by a doctor far away. There are many patients that I see who say that they couldn't get an eye exam for several months. They had vision needs that, that needed to be addressed at that time. This gives them uh, much sooner access to a doctor to help them get the, the glasses and the contacts that they need. And not only that, but I've had multiple patients where I would see optic nerve head swelling and tell the patient, this is an emergency, we need to send you out. Um, and those patients would not have known if it were not for the remote care that we are providing. The benefits for me are huge. Um, number one, I get to see my family a lot more. I feel like I have a better connection with my children, even if I'm not seeing them while I'm working, just knowing that you know I'm there and, and they're there. Um, it's a, a huge lift for me uh, as a family man to, to be a lot more connected to my family. If you have questions uh, about remote optometry, don't hesitate to ask. Ask someone within Access Eye Care Services and we'll be happy to, to answer those questions and see if remote care is the right place for you. I'm very excited to be a, a pioneer in this new field of optometry, which can reach new people. And I'm excited for the opportunity to advance eye care.